Okay, now that you and me are self-synchronized, our settings are the same, what you see on the screen is what I see on my screen. I think it's best we now start looking at how to actually draw the geometry on the screen because this is a short, quick course on the basics of using Procon pads and I think it makes sense that we start looking at how to actually draw the geometry without wasting too much time because when it comes to detailing, you just want to know how to draw the basic geometry and also place your balls. So without wasting too much time, let's get and see how to actually draw lines in Procon pads. So drawing lines in Procon pads is quite easy. There are three main commands that you need to acquaint yourself with. And to do that, all you have to do is go to line. And when you go to line, you will find there are three commands that you need to know. There is line line, the line auto command and the line box. So these are the three commands that you can use. And let me explain each one. And you can also remember when you go to your Procon by default, the shortcuts to these commands will be on the top one of the button bars. And we are going to be using these shortcuts. So the first command that we need to look at is the line line. If you go, this is the line line. This is the first one. Or if this is the one that is on the first. So you can also call it by saying LL. Or we, in this case, we're just going to click on line line. So most of the times you could get this error where it does the command on its own. But all you have to do is just control Z to undo whatever it did. And just call it out again. Now, as you can see, if you go to the command line, it's telling us where do you want your line to begin. So remember, line line draws poorly lines. It draws a line that is multiple or two segments between one or two multiple points. So when you want to draw a polyline, this is what you use. And as you can see, the command keeps going. That is to say it is recurring and allows you to draw lines in various multiple points. And in this case, as you can see that I am doing, if you want to jump out of the command, you can either right click and clip escape, or you can just click on escape on your keyboard. Now that we have seen the line line command, the next thing that we need to do is look at the line auto command. So what we will do is just we will go to edit, then erase line, and then we select the line that we want to erase. In this case, it will be multiple points. Or what we can do is just BB, go along the screen and just erase everything. Or you could just say erase everything and you're good to go. Now that we have erased any, everything, the next thing that we need to look at is the line auto command. This is what you use when you want to draw a single line. In this case, we have selected it, line auto. As you can see, line begin, line end. As you can see, that is where you want. If you want to begin another line, look at this point. It doesn't continue where the last line ended, as with line line. But it allows you to start a new line on its own, afresh, wherever you want, in whatever direction you want. And you can draw as many lines as you would want. So this is the line auto command. Once you're done with the line auto command, you can always control Z to remove everything on the screen. The next line that we're going to look at is the line box. This allows you to draw a box on the screen when you want. And let me just click on it. And there you go. As you can see, it's a rectangle. All you have to do is that it allows you to select the first corner and you select the second corner. So unlike in AutoCAD where you give it dimensions and everything, unfortunately with this one, you cannot do that. So this is how you put your line on the box. And if you want to remove it, just control Z to undo your last steps. Now, now that we know how to do the line geometry, the next thing that we need to do is to know how to erase our lines or extend our lines or just to manipulate our lines in general. And we're going to see that in the next video.